Thumping long ball. Out the back, Henry. Gonna kick another one. No! Run down by Moore. Who lets him know about it? Have a listen to this. It's definitely a ground level. Uh, it was all part of the drama in the theatre, wasn't it? Friday night at the MCG. It was great stuff. It had a bit of everything, everything, didn't it? It was a cracking game, footy. It was. What did you What did you see with what Collingwood did? Well, I think there's a reason why Collingwood games are the most exciting and entertaining games in the competition right now. You, you, you must watch Collingwood games. And what is, what is so noticeable is when you watch it on the TV or when you're watching it at the ground. So when you're watching it on TV, every time you look, you go, there are Collingwood players everywhere. It looks like there's more of them on the field. You always see Collingwood outnumber at the contest. They are so aggressive to get numbers there. The, their halfbacks come up, their forwards, and then when they win that footy, when they outnumber, off they go. They explode, and we find and the opposition find it hard to stop them. And this is what they were doing to the Cats on, on Friday night. But then on the flip side, what they also do, because they are so aggressive at getting numbers to the footy and, and trying to outnumber, there are so many times where if they do lose it, Opposition players are free of the ball. Particularly when you're watching it at the ground, you're like, Geelong players are forward of the ball, but this is their system. This is what Collingwood do. They back themselves in, but they give the opposition a sniff. And it's probably why they play in so many close games and why all, both teams always look like they're a chance. But this is what I love about Collingwood. This is now the fourth quarter. So late in the games, this is why they've been winning these close games, because they continue to play their system, no matter what the scoreboard is and what the time of the game is. They outnumber at the contest. They back themselves in. It's a bit of a risky system, because because when it works, it looks great. But it does leave them vulnerable to get scored against. But they just continue to back themselves in and play the odds, and it's working in their favour. I, I love it, Hato. I I I'm the convert. I was Melbourne until I what I saw again on the weekend. I think Craig McRae is the modern-day Malcolm Blight. I don't care if you kick 100 points, we'll kick 110. I don't care if you kick 110, we'll kick 120. And we're going to come at you through the corridor as often as we can. We're going to try and play pure football. And it's by design, OK? They give up a bit to get a bit. So here's a kick out for Geelong, right? So just look at Collingwood. They're all corridor side of their immediate opponent or their direct opponent. So once the ball enters play, if they lose this next contest, and Geelong will have more numbers there, but it, then they'll slide back and they'll help their back six. But if they win it... That ball is coming into the corridor and they are already three, four, five metres by themselves. And look at them in the middle of the ground there. You can see now Geelong have over-invested, doing the right thing, playing over, uh, outnumbering footy. And then all of a sudden they get this handball ga game going and they outnumber you wherever they decide to go with the football. So corridor is king in 2023. If you can't play corridor or control or own corridor, you can't win the big games against the best teams. You've got to be able to do uh, all modes, but the way they play, I think, is going to be the toughest to stop of all the contending teams we've seen so far. So it's only one round on the back of a pre-season that we've seen Collingwood get better than last year. So the average... And why, why this is relevant is if you can control corridor then you force, if you lose the ball, you force your opponents wide. So their ability to punish, the average is 70 points per 100 turnovers is what you normally score, OK? Force the opposition to turn over, 70 out of 100. They go at 125 on the weekend, 125 points per 100 turnovers. But that is a massive number. Um, and I'm, I'm in love with what they do with the footy because they end up with Dacos or Dugowie or both Dacoses or, or Pendlebury or, or Adams. Or, Crisp. Yeah, Crisp. They're, they're all really sound decision makers. So kicking, their kicking skills come to the fore because they've got time and they're in the corridor.